All right, in this video, we want to look at finding an equation of a line that is going to be parallel to y equals negative 7 thirds x plus 2, and it's going to pass through the point negative 15, 71. I remember that when we were trying to write the equation for a line, um, we need, for most of them, we need two things. We need a slope and we need a point that we go through. Now, we have two um, formulas that we can use. We have the slope-intercept form, and we also have the point-slope formula. It doesn't matter which one uh, we use, just as long as you pick one and stick with it. Now, since we're going to be parallel to y equals negative 7 thirds x plus 2, uh, we can get from this guy that our slope is negative 7 thirds. Well, if the slope of this line is negative 7 thirds and we want to be parallel to it, that means that my parallel slope is also going to be negative 7 thirds. So you've got your slope and you've got a point that you go through. So you just put that together in one of these forms. Now, if you use the slope-intercept form, you have your x and your y. You have your slope. And the only thing that we don't know is our y-intercept, uh, or the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So plug in that information and see what you get. So y is going to be 71. Your slope is a negative 7 thirds times your x, which is negative 15, and then plus b. Remember, this is only going to get you the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So 71 is equal to, of course, we're working with fractions, no big deal. Cancel the negatives. 3 goes into 15 five times. So 71 is equal to 35 plus b. Solve this equation for b, and you find out that b is equal to 36. So taking your b and your slope that we already found, we can then write the equation for our line. So y equals a negative 7 thirds x plus 36. As you can see, this guy is going to be parallel to the equation we want to be parallel to, and it will pass through the point negative 15, 71. Just plug in the negative 15, and then you're going to add this, and you're going to end up with 71. Now, if you were to use the point-slope formula instead, you should still come up with the same answer. So let's, uh, let's check that guy. So here, we have y minus your y1 is 71 equal to your slope, which is a negative 7 thirds times the quantity x minus x1 is negative 15. Okay? So all we've done here is just plug the information into that formula. So let's just rewrite this and clean it up. So y minus 71 is equal to negative 7 thirds times x plus 15. And this is where you want to distribute your 7 thirds or negative 7 thirds. So negative 7 thirds x minus, because negative times a positive is a negative. 3 is going to reduce with a 15 to make that 5, so this is going to be a minus 35. And then we just need to add the 71 to both sides. So y is equal to negative 7 thirds x plus 36. And this is the same, this is the same answer that we got the first time um, that we did the problem. Okay? So remember, you want to get your slope and a point, and then use one of these formulas. Put the pieces together and you get your equation. 